bottom of the car here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna install this T-bracket. If you notice, I don't have the half shaft or anything in yet. I usually like to do this first before I start knocking anything else out because if you have the half shaft and everything in here, same thing when you're pulling this out. Um, I didn't really give that detail of an explanation when the motor was coming out um, because we were just trying to get everything done. But so when you go to take this out, just, you know, don't try to maneuver, you know, with the half shaft and everything in the way. It's just going to waste time. It's just three bolts, three 14s that go right here. You take them out, take the half shaft out the way. This thing comes out real easy. Um, so in this case, everything's out the way. So. Literally just take this. I just like to kind of just put it up, make sure that the back part is facing up like that. And then you just kind of lean it up like that. And try to line it up with the mount as you're going in, as you're going in there. You can go up, turn it sideways like this. And then it'll just kind of fall into place. You just gotta kind of keep playing with it. But if you have that half shaft in there, man, it's impossible. And then, let's see. Okay, so I'm on top of the car now. Oh, here we go. This is the problem we were having. We're getting hung up on this hose. All right, so what was killing me was this hose right here was in the way. So once you get that hose out of the way, you can just kind of push this all the way back this way. Make sure that this right here seats in there because you're going to put a 17 through there. Most of you guys aren't going to have any of these heater hoses or anything, but this car is completely stuck and we're trying to keep it that way. So that's why it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But... Other than that, you can see it's in there. You can put the 17 there. There's two 19s that go down here. And then you can run the one long 17 that goes through. Okay, so let's see. We got our 19s here. Of course, it's going to be a, a bit of a pain. Come on. There we go. Slide her forward a little bit. They're catching. Oh, not really. There we go. All right, cool. We got it to bite. Now we got to get the other one. Put the other one in here. This one catching. Yeah, and whatever you do, don't snug any of these. Um, at least not yet, because you wanna, you're gonna wanna like rock the motor back and forth just to give you leverage and to be able to line the rest of these up. Cause trust me, younger Carlos had a really hard time dealing with this shit because he used to bolt in the mount bolt up there or he used to bolt in these two. And then he couldn't move the rest of them and it was a pain in the ass and you'd have to loosen them and it's already enough of a pain in the ass as it is so you don't want to make it more of a pain in the ass for yourself so all right let me get that damn top bolt up there in place all right so 17 set up at the top
All right, cool. And T bracket is secured. Now let's move on to the half. All right, so got us the half shaft right here so it's gonna go right in there i'm gonna make sure it's got a little snap ring in there so kind of want to make sure it snaps in place in make sure I mean I'm pretty sure you guys already know this I'm pretty sure most of whoever's watching works on Hondas yeah. but these half shaft uh, bolts they have these bushings the bushings are just center the uh, the half shaft because if you don't use these and it doesn't center it um, and your half shaft starts moving back and forth which isn't wouldn't be good for your transmission you will ruin your differential and trust me you don't want to do that especially if you're running like an lsd or, or something and the bad pit thing about ruining your differential isn't just ruining your differential it's it, it you know obviously the way that it works if you know about transmissions it goes against your counter shaft um inside the transmission so needless to say if something happens to your differential you're probably going to end up cooking your whole transmission so just make sure you use the, the right bolts. Um, sometimes you can lose them. Um, I would recommend use at least two because I've seen people that either don't know about the bushings and they put the wrong bolts in or they just misplace them and they go to Home Depot and get whatever bolts without the bushings and the uh, half shaft ends up not being centered. And like I said, you could uh, catastrophically damage your transmission It's all done half shaft is nice and secure in there now we can move on to the axles i think before i do the axles though while i'm under here i'm gonna go ahead and uh install this dreaded bitch pin and uh this thing you can get the linkage hung up on the transmission and uh we'll do the axles afterwards it'll just be a lot easier with a lot less stuff under here okay so now that we got us our uh bitch pin this thing i'm jigger right here Looks like we're pretty lined up there go ahead and put this guy in there get it started and then uh, yeah, i usually like to just press it in a little bit till it just kind of grabs on its own and just kind of hammer it in place Let's see. all right this is gonna be impossible to do with one hand so let me just go ahead and knock this in here all right, y'all, well, that's probably gonna be the last recording I do for a little bit before I really start crunching here because my phone is dying. So I'm gonna plug my phone in to charge for a little bit. I don't know if the camera caught any of that, but so like I was saying, it's gonna be the last little bit that I uh, record for a bit. I gotta plug the phone in to charge. Um, linkage is up, bitch pit is installed. I put the little cover over it. Like I said, this car is super OEM. I'm trying to keep it that way somewhat, except for the motor. Um, Sleeper. <laughs> and then, uh, so we went ahead and put the washer here. We got the 12 here. Gabriel, do me a favor. Go ahead, shift through all the gears. 
Oh. Damn, you know what we forgot to do, Gabriel? What's up? Well, we forgot to paint. No, we didn't forget to paint nothing, but I forgot to put the little, uh, the linkage boot. Oh, shit. And you got me fucked up if you think that bitch been coming back out. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no super OEM. <laughs> so, but yeah, go ahead, shift through all the gears real quick. Beautiful. Yep, so. Yeah, linkage is working flawlessly. Let's go ahead and get these axles in here, get the suspension buttoned up. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug my phone into charge. So we'll check back in a little bit. Hopefully if uh, everything works out, we can go ahead and get everything buttoned up and get the fluids and everything in this car and have it have it turn on and maybe even drive tonight. We'll see. So uh, yeah, check back in a bit. All right, so last update of the night. Unfortunately, my dog here gotta go to sleep early because of his uh new work schedule he's still adjusting but uh so basically there's where we at we got the uh compressor mounted up power steering bracket mounted up again yes that's the non vtech power steering bracket but it will hold for now uh we're just gonna go ahead and wait uh i think uh shane might have the the bracket that we need if he can't find it we're just gonna have to either i might have one in storage or we're just gonna have to order another one but uh so we're waiting on that but for now that'll work and then um the uh other thing that we're gonna have to do actually no gabriel that bracket is not gonna work because if you notice where the bottom one lines up mm -hmm. it's like a little further back from this it's not like actually lined up i'm looking at it right now so we we gonna have to get the actual VTEC one for that to be able to line up to get the belt and everything on it. Well, luckily, we never wrinkled it. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, we was never gonna wrinkle it anyways because we was gonna get the right one. But yeah, it's coming out too far, so we're gonna have to go ahead and get the VTEC one to make the power steering work correctly. But yeah, I mean everything is pretty much hooked up, and like I said, I've been running everything really, really OEM. Um, axles and everything are in. All the suspension and everything under the car is buttoned up. T-bracket is in, as y'all saw in the video. Uh, we actually found a bolt that works for that. And we found bolts that work for this. But unfortunately, I didn't think I was going to need my hex sockets today. So I left them at home. So I wasn't able to set, I wasn't able to torque that down. So I'm not sure when this video is going to come out. Today's what? The 8th? The 9th? 9th. Is it the 9th or the 10th? It's the 9th? So today's October 9th. Um, I'm not sure when this video is going to air because I'm pretty much like a month ahead or behind or whatever you want to call it. But, um, yeah, by like a month, basically, because I'm only uploading once a week. So and by the time I record this stuff, I mean, there's still probably going to be another five or six videos before y'all see this one. Um, I mean, this is probably going to be the last or this is going to be like the second to last or third to last video on this series. But so because all we got left right now is uh, just a few things like uh, throttle cable. I need to bolt this into place, bolt that into place. Um, the slave cylinder, we painted all that stuff earlier today. So I got to mount that and then I'm going to need Gabriel to help me bleed it. Um, starter is in. I'm missing the short 14. Got to put the short 14 there because that's what's holding our mount over there until we can get the right bolt in. And then obviously battery. Um, we got a new throttle body gasket. Throttle body's gonna go on. And uh, once the throttle body goes on, I can go ahead and install the IAC, run the two coolant hoses. And that's pretty much it. Put fluid in the trans, put fluid in the motor, Dizzy spark plug wires, and then we can go ahead and start it up. I'll take it for a drive and I'm gonna be tuning it with the Honda that it's running. So, you found it? Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. So <clears throat> all we're gonna do right now, I guess, is just push it up. And uh, until next weekend, we'll see y'all then. Mm -hmm.